Hi everyone, welcome to our latest support tips and tricks video. My name is Rita Zarate and I'm the Hero Support Manager here at Par Level Systems. In this video, I will show you five tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your vending management system. In particular, we'll look at managing commissions, subsidies, and taxes. Let's get started. Tip number one, how to set up a commission. Since commissions are associated with location and locations with accounts, both must be established before setting up any commissions. Once your account has been created under Settings, Customers, Accounts, navigate to the Edit Account page. You'll be able to input two required fields, the commission amount and the commission type. This can be a flat rate or percentage. All machines and locations under this account will have the commission applied to them once you save these changes. If you need a specific location or machine under the account, you can apply them at those levels at either the Edit Location or Edit Machine page. To apply at the location level, navigate to Settings, Customers, Locations, Edit Location, and enter the commission under the General tab. If you need the commission for a specific machine, navigate to the Settings cogwheel, Vending, Machines, Edit Machine, and navigate to the Advanced Settings tab. You can also access your machines under the Vending All Machines page. As a note, commissions applied at machine level will override commissions applied at location level and those applied at location level override the commissions applied at account level. By default, commissions are calculated based on the collected revenue after consolidation. This means it's especially important to consolidate routes properly. To do this, click the green money icon button under the service history page and enter all the collected amounts after every service. Tip number two, how to run a commission report. To do this, navigate to Vending, Calculators, Commission. Specify a date range and the accounts needed and click the green Get Commissions button. If you want to run commissions for all accounts, you can leave the account field empty. Once the calculation has been generated, verify that the numbers are correct, and then scroll to the bottom of the page and click the green Save Commissions button to save your report. The VMS will automatically redirect you to the reports. In your company settings, financial tab, you can click the green edit button on the top right, which will allow you to toggle, modify, and view a number of settings that affect your commission reports, including credit card fees, two-tier fees, and other factors. After you have made any changes, click save. You will need to recalculate a report to include any changes made. Once you have calculated and saved, the report will now show up under Analytics Customers Commissions. From this page, you can mark the individual commission report as paid using the status link, or you can use the options button to print, print to a check, mark the reports as paid in bulk, or delete the report. Tip number three, how to set up a subsidy. To set up a subsidy, navigate to Settings, Vending, Subsidy Groups. Click the green New Subsidy Group button and from here, you will need to add a group name and group description. Typically, names will designate the associated account and descriptions are the subsidized item types. For example, airport lounge, drinks, save your changes. Once the subsidy group has been made, click the edit pencil icon. From the edit subsidy group page, you can select products to be associated with that subsidy group, either by location and all of its associated machines or by a specific machine. You can also add just specific products. You will first need to add a subgroup by clicking the green Add Subgroup button. Add the amount you are subsidizing in the subsidy field and identify a name for the group, for example, 50 cent drinks, and save your changes. Once the subgroup has been added, click on the group to highlight it. You will now be adding products to this group. You can check off the products to be moved into the subgroup with the checkboxes, or you can click the blue plus symbol. To add items to a second subgroup, you will need to be sure it is also highlighted when moving items. As a note, you can only have one subgroup per price point at a time. Once created, machines or markets will need to also be assigned to the subsidy group. This can be done by going to the Edit Machine page, Advanced Settings tab, Assign Subsidy Group dropdown. For a market, navigate to the Edit Market page, General Info tab, and Assign Subsidy Group from the dropdown box. Save your changes. Tip number four, how to run a subsidy report. Now that you have set up your subsidies, it's time to run a subsidy report. Navigate to Vending, Calculators, Subsidies. Specify a date range and account you would like to run. You can also leave the account field blank to run for all accounts and press the green arrow button to run the report. To save your calculation, click the green Save Report on the top right. 
The VMS will automatically redirect you to the saved reports, or it can be accessed by going to Analytics, Customers, Subsidies. These reports include not only the products and subgroups, but also products that may be sold in the machine that are not subsidized. These will be in their own category distinct from the subsidized items. From the Analytics Subsidies page, you can use the Options button to email, print, or print as a PDF. Tip number five, how to set up taxes in your VMS. First, you need to create your tax classes. Navigate to Settings, Tax Classes, then click New Tax Class. Enter the name desired for your tax class, typically describing the type of product taxed, and click Save Changes. You can create as many tax classes as needed. Once the tax classes are created, you can start adding products to these groups by navigating to Settings, Warehouse Products, which details all of your active products in your catalog. Note that there is a column listing the tax classes to which a product is assigned. You can update the tax for products in bulk using the Bulk Edit option from the Options menu. All products to be affected by the change will be marked with an orange. Click Save at the top right to enact these changes. You can also change the tax class for an individual product by clicking the Edit icon to access the Product Edit screen. Below the product image will be a drop-down listing the available tax classes. After selecting the appropriate class, save your changes. Next, you will need to create your tax groups and tax jurisdictions. To do this, navigate to Settings, Taxes, Tax Groups. Click on New Tax Group and enter the tax group name, for example, Bear County Group. We can create our first jurisdiction for the state of Texas by clicking on Add Tax Jurisdiction. Enter, for example, Texas for the name and click OK. After it is confirmed as created, the jurisdiction Texas is selected and we can click on the Add Tax Class link to add a class to this jurisdiction. In the following pop-up, you can select non-food from the drop-down and enter 8.25% in the sales tax field for the taxed non-food products in the state of Texas. You can also select how non-food should be taxed for OCS and micromarkets as well. Following the same process, we can create two new jurisdictions, one for the city of San Antonio and one for Bear County, with their sales taxes of 2% and 1% respectively. When creating a new tax group, notice that you can reuse the tax jurisdictions created previously. In this case, the Texas jurisdiction can be reselected and the tax class and tax percentage will auto-populate for you. It's worth mentioning that if you edit this percentage here, then it will also affect any other tax group using this Texas jurisdiction. You should now have a tax group made. You can edit them at any time by clicking the edit icon on the right of the tax groups list. Finally, you can assign your new tax groups to the correct locations in your business. This is done from the tax group screen. Section one lists all the locations assigned to a tax group, while section two lists all other locations not currently assigned to any tax group. You can assign a location to a tax group by pressing the green plus icon to the left of the location names, which will move that location from Section 2 to Section 1. If needed, you can also filter through the locations by name or geographical area. To edit a location's tax group assignment, navigate to Settings, Customers, Locations. The Tax Group drop-down menu will display your current tax groups and will allow you to reassign the location. Save your changes. I hope this video helps you better manage your commissions, subsidies, and taxes across your business. By focusing on these three areas, you'll have a better relationship with your accounts and a better picture of your company's finances. If you have any questions on any of the tips presented or want more information, please reach out to your customer success representative or our hero support department. Once again, thank you for choosing Parlevel.